wonderful people now let's talk about html table called span and row span okay so html tables can have cells that span over multiple rows or multiple columns so when your cell spans uh, you want your cell to span over multiple columns you are going to use the call span attribute to do that if you want your cell to span over multiple rows you are going to need the row span to do that and this is what we are going to be talking about in this video so in this particular video we want our cell to span over multiple columns so let's start with the call span so here i have my table let's say for example that i want header two here to span over you know two columns how will i do that what i am going to do is that i will want to add maybe some more data like this and then in header two like here i will say call span and i will say equals to two when i do that now you can see my header two here cell is going to span over two columns okay so that's basically how you do that we can say for example that we want it to span over three columns so you will say three here so the number three the value three here is actually going to determine the number of columns you want your cell to span over so if we say three here we need to add some more cells like this okay so now you see header two is spanning over three columns so that's basically how you can work with call span so as i will recall the um, value of the call span okay the value that we put here the number three is actually going to determine is going to represent the number of columns to span all right so the call span use makes sure that your cell spans over multiple columns so now let's talk about the row span then so the row span is to make sure that your cell is going to span over multiple rows okay you use row span so in order to do just that what we are going to do is um, that we will remove this like this here i'm going to do this as well and uh, let me remove remove this okay so i will take this cut it put it down here remove this as for this one i'm going to say td like this and call it data one for example this will be data two i'm going to remove call span because we're not going to talk about call span here the three so we are going to talk about row span so we want our cell you know the cell had a two cell here to span over two rows what we will do is that we will write row span attribute name here and assign a value to it so we'll say two like this when you say that now you can see had a two cell is spanning over two rows that's basically how you can do that so what if we want it to span over three rows we will say three here and we will just add another row like this okay i'm sorry let me come back here so we add another row now you see it is spanning over 
three rows. So as usual, the value that you specify here that you assign to your attribute is going to represent the number of rows to span. So that's how you can, you know, work with call span and row span and make your cells to span over columns and rows. So guys, that's it for this video. If you have any question, feel free to write in the comment section. And uh, don't forget to like and subscribe to this YouTube channel. Let's meet in the next video.